Oh my. Dude. Uh, that's gonna be challenging. Um, and they have some scrap for me to pick up. This is actually really beautiful. I've not been here before. Wow. All right, they said they're gonna be a few minutes late. I can't tell if this was a larger structure that fell. Yeah, it had to have been. Pretty wild. I want to see that one over there. Yeah, this is pretty thick. And I'm not invited to be snooping around too much. But they're supposed to be here right now. They're just running a little bit late. Wow. So I guess this used to be a working farm. A lot of the places around here, they lease their land their arable land out to other companies. Yeah, got a few things. There's actually five lawnmowers in there and, and a whole bunch of just little stuff. Yeah, I didn't record anything there. There was some tension to say the least. I, 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 I didn't cause it, I can't fix it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is a good load. I'll bet this is a thousand pounds. Yep, I do. So, I didn't need this, this dolly, even though I, I brought it. It's all tied down, ready to go. Are we busy at the scrapyard? No! Someone threw a pallet in the shred pile. Seriously? Not cool. Alright, sorry dude, I'm gonna have to go into your oncoming lane. Uh oh, am I gonna make it? I'm gonna guess a solid thousand pounds man yep so um i think the truck weighs empty like 6500 so i'm gonna say 7500 anything more than 7500 i believe uh will be over a thousand pounds i mean you know no way that's a heavy load bruh 7840 what? So 1,300 pounds? Wee! Yeah, this, this offload's gonna be a little bit awkward. Yeah, you see the pallet? <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit awkward because uh, there's... Um, there's a lot of like little pieces of scrap in the back of my truck. I should have brought a bunch of totes with me and stuff. Well, you just never know when you're doing a scrap pickup. You, you have no idea what you're picking up. I have no idea what I'm picking up, I should say. So. It's so quiet. Seriously, wow. There's multiple pallets in the junk pile. That's not cool, dude. Right. I'm gonna leave myself plenty of room. Yeah, so I got a whole bunch of, of like just random stuff in here. So it's gonna make the offload a little bit awkward. <sighs> uh oh.
We got a problem. It's an empty truck. <laughs> I got a couple of texts saying, come pick up some scrap. I'm like, all right, I'll be out. Michael, did I hit 1,300 pounds? 1,300. 1,340. 1,340, bruh. Nice. Yeah. Wait, let me make sure I math I'm pretty sure I math this right, but... I have yeah. connections that didn't break. I don't believe that for a second. I'm serious, I could have done math and I can't figure You know what's good for the brain is wit. What's that? Cracking jokes and thinking of puns and... Good for, yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. It's super good. But math is too, right? Or math is too I don't know if. Well, no matter what, if we're using our brain, we're 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 adding the the neurons are making connections. I feel like so. my math connections are. Are they? <laughs> little cobwebs. For real. <laughs> I don't believe that. No, you're always doing math. You're constantly doing numbers and figuring stuff out. How's your stress level? How, how's your how's your mellow level? I should say. It's good. It's, it was a really like crazy Monday morning, but um, I feel like I'm gathering my composure pretty well, or I've maintained my composure. Okay, all right. Um, it's been um, yeah, it's been a really nice Monday. I can't complain. Okay, Mondays are awesome. I I like Mondays actually. It's like I feel like I'm getting back into my groove. I kind of stress on Sundays. Because I'm thinking about what I have to do during the week. Nice. And yeah. no matter what, it's, it's like... like a, a day to set new goals. So you have a new beginning of a week and, you know, if you have a goal in mind, you can... You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. An opportunity to start, you know? Yep. Sunday nights have always been like that for me. Of Like, I just kind of think of what I need to do during the week, how I'm going to do it. Um... Breaking out the hundreds? The hundreds? No. The singles? <laughs> Almost the hundred and ninety-three eighty. Nice. What? All right, I got a couple more scrap pickups, so. Nice. Yeah. I might have a hundred dollars worth. Who knows? I shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully, right? Hopefully, you have more chickens. <laughs> Is that the way to look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Michael. We'll see you Sweet. Bumps. All right, man. See you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today. Thank you for uh, 
allowing me to to help others um, sometimes I don't want to but I do know that that is the right thing to do thank you for that God and uh, thank you for those that helped me um, I could not do this alone that's for sure Lord would you help us um, I know that there are there's crazy situations going on right now Lord um, I'm gonna ask for divine intervention in the name of Jesus, amen. All right, 20, four, I got, hey, I got a new 20, what? 20, 40, 60, 80, $93 for that scrap. That's good. And 1,340 pounds. That is, that's as much as this truck is rated for. I think it's 1,200 pounds this truck is rated for. That lift gate is rated for either 1,300 or 1,500 pounds. I can't remember. But regardless, that lift gate can lift more than this whole truck is allowed to carry as a payload. Yeah, so seven cents a pound. 1340 was $93.80. All right, so I got another scrap load to pick up. Let's go handle that. That's a mansion. Hey, hey. All right. Check this out. I think I got the oldest washer I've ever picked up. Yeah. This thing's from the 60s. I'll bet it's 400 pounds all by itself. Yeah. So the cool thing, the guy here, I, it's the first time I've met him. He's a biology um, instructor at Rock Valley College. And uh, we're just talking about uh, different biology stuff. And I just think it's so interesting. I just love talking about um, the mitochondria and how it works. And, you know, it used to be a, it used to be its, its own bacteria, you know, that happened to start surviving in other cells. And that's created us eukaryotes. And um, he was just now talking about the biology of the, you know, the mitochondria only comes from the woman's egg. It's only, it, it's, uh, uh, the heredity only comes from the, the female. And you're saying some women have a, like a biological disease or something that can be spread through that um, mitochondria, that they can take the egg from a woman, replace the mitochondria from a second woman, and then from the, the man. So there's actually three parents. You know what's cool? Is they said it was supposed to be cloudy all day. <laughs> that's awesome so it was cloudy obviously like when i was at the scrapyard 45 minutes ago but what happened to all the clouds can they just dissipate can a cloud just like dissipate into the air and become nothing or in invisible i guess you could say i think so all right so i'm gonna guess at least 600 pounds with these three Yep. Uh. Yeah, so I'm I think the dryers weigh probably a hundred pounds each. What is this guy doing? That's, that's the thing about if someone is new to a scrapyard, be cool to them and be cool with them. Um, yeah. And, and that, that goes with, with anyone that is first doing something is that if they're new at it, it is not the time to pick on them because of their lack of experience. I have seen that. Uh-oh, Popo. It's like an air raid siren. All right, so if I, I have to look at how much did I weigh last time when I weighed out. I weighed out at 6,500. Yep, so whatever this is above 6,500, 
is how much the weight is of what's in the back. Okay, so not as much as I thought. All right, 6960, so it's 460 pounds. Four hundred sixty. Yep. So, what is seven times forty six? Um, thirty something bucks. All right. I don't want to hit this guy's door. I'm gonna go nice and slow. Just letting them know I'm here. Uh oh, he's dropping off a washer. Cool. So am I, dude. So am I. That's all my mess right there. Don't forget the dolly. Don't forget the dolly. And don't forget to clip the cords. Plaw. Yeah, today is the first day I had to break out in my, in my coveralls. It's, it was cold this morning. 40 something Fahrenheit? 42? <laughs> this is heavy duty, man. That's a chunk. It's an electric dryer. With a big old 220. Huh. And this will take a couple nips. Sorry, Charlotte. Huh, there she is. Yes, it's most likely a she. I can't get it. I'll take little bites. Yay. Sorry, Charlotte. And a gas dryer, because it has 110. 110 volts. Yeah, test it, Paul. Maybe. Huh. Wonder if I can make this dryer land on that dryer. Okay, you need to come back on the truck, buddy. New scratch. Whoa, I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, what? Just like I tell my teenagers that 
when they're because they're exploring their talents they don't know what they're talented at uh, sometimes you're not good at something right away it doesn't mean you're not talented you have to uh, you have to try it a few times and get good at it you know like songwriting even the best songwriter in the world their first song wasn't that good they're the first time someone um, rode a motorcycle they're not that good first time you ever drove you're not that good and and each one of us has a thousand talents but we've only discovered maybe a hundred even though there's 900 of them that we haven't discovered or we tried once or twice and gave up so that's uh that i'm talking that now because that guy that showed up here the first time you know he's parking on the scale and he's you know seemingly confused um that happens whenever we are trying something new all right two of three what's up katie Good morning. I'm sorry we had you out there waiting. It's all good. Cool. Thank you. Thank I'll you see you. I got another scrap load, so I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks God again for some scrap. Thank you for safety. You're awesome. Amen. Yeah, $30.80. Are you want to go over the actual numbers? Um, 440 pounds, yeah. Kind of like what I thought, 460, 440. What? He was not joking. Scrap pickup to the max. Two refrigerators, a stove, four air conditioners. Sweet. Get into my truck. All right, uh, refrigerators first. Need something to roll up on, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I might need to find a home for this stuff that's not the scrapyard. We gotta clip these cords. <laughs> that didn't work out so well, did it? Bet I can put some air conditioners in there. Yeah, I might as well ride it up. Other air conditioner? I mean, other refrigerator? Hmm. Ooh. This is heavy.
What's up, crows? <laughs> Might not be the best of ideas, but... Hopefully it'll stay. I think I'll put the next refrigerator up against this. And that one, I'm thinking to put one in the freezer area. <laughs> yeah, I have to fit all of this in and I have one more scrap pickup after this. Yes. They all just kind of happen at once. It all just kind of happened. It's called a blessing, Plaw. Yes, it is. Huh. Yeah, I think I can do that. can pull that out. I just mess it all up. I have. How did I do that? Just brutalize it. All right. I'm gonna say the bigger one in the freezer. And then the smaller one right there. It's a good fit. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, probably not, huh? Nope. But it can. Probably fit if this is on its side. What I want to do is to fit all this on the truck in one trip. This and my next stop. Uh, nope. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, like that. I'm getting tired. <laughs> but it's fun. It is, it is. <sighs> you know what, I don't need to write it up. I can just push it. Now I'm wondering if I just painted myself in a corner. I still need to get that stove on. It's not gonna fit over there. The two refrigerators probably can fit side by side. Huh. 
Oh well. Should I try it? I think it's too late. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, let's put them face to face. I'm hoping I can. The ridges on this is going to be an impediment. Huh. Maybe this one can just go over here. Please don't fall out, air conditioners. <sighs> Truck's at a slant. Is that all the way? It is. Bro. That's not enough room. Huh. Yeah, that might not be enough room. It is, yay. Hello, good morning. few things I think inside of that one So
This is like exercise, isn't it? <sighs> get some blood pumping, get some oxygen flowing, get some morning sunlight. Please don't be full of stuff. Let's not, let's not think about that. <clears throat> Hopefully, we can face that way. <sighs> nope, I don't think so. It's too big. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna set the stuff on here and then wait till I get to the next scrap spot. Let's see what kind of rearranging I need to do. It fit quite nicely. Hopefully it doesn't break. I'll find a spot for these. Probably take them to my house or something. Man, I think this is more than I real. Uh oh, am I not going straight? Oh, I was. I was good. Sorry, I'm blocking driveways. Oh my, dude. Uh, that's gonna be challenging. 10, 19 of 10. Huh. Yeah, this has been around a while, huh? Wow, it's a roper. <laughs> Mr. Roper, what is up? Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start finding some homes for things. Huh. I can put this over here. challenging. <sighs> this is going to be a little challenging.
Yeah, I'm thinking that stove. Wow. I don't think I've moved one. That, and stoves are always heavy. So is this Maytag, oh my goodness. Whew. Okay, all right. It's not as um, bad as I thought. This actually, I think this Maytag is heavier than this. Yeah, it is, there's no doubt. Can I even get this under there? Yeah, I can. Hmm. I'm thinking that this can go in. Huh. Kind of sideways. Like this. Yeah, let's do that. Well, cool, it's gonna fit. That's the problem. All the doors opened up on it. Mr. Roper. I liked Mrs. Roper. She had a cool sense of humor. Okay, what's next? So all those cabinets are metal? Is that like from a, is that from inside the house? Wow, dude. I think it is. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is gonna get challenging. Oh, wow. Ooh, that kind of pinched me. That little space right there. Yep. Of course, I'm going to do it again. Ooh. Glad I got enough air in the tires. Man, what a tank. Really, dude? You good now? There's plenty of room. Maybe not. What are you catching on? Oh. Kitchen on the plastic. <sighs> What's next? to go on top of the refrigerators. Yep. Yeah. 
you're kind of little. So I think you're going to go on top of maybe in that corner on the left. Oh, is that glass? Hmm. Thanks for warning me. That would have not been nice. Huh. Wait a minute. Is there a little cubby right there? Dude, sound like a... Is that a dinner bell? Perfect. Now, I think I want you on top of the refrigerator and I'm gonna strap this down. All right, I'm gonna need your help with this. I'll grab the other side. View. Is that taller than 13 feet? Maybe. <laughs> as tall as that wire there. This wasn't too well thought out. <sighs> that's the, that's the extra awkward one. You know, I might pull that one down. Yeah, I think I can find a better spot for that. <sighs> yeah, let's do that right now. I don't like it being that, that high. I mean... that one across here. Yes.
Where, oh where, is the scrap gonna go? <laughs> yeah, so I think that's gonna be on its back. So those shelves will be facing upward. Yep. I think so. We'll see. Might not. I'd have to go onto its side or something. <sighs> or some version thereof. Right here. You ready, dude? Hmm? Yeah, that's a little precarious. <sighs> what? <sighs> yeah, this might be awkward. I mean, it's not super heavy, it's just awkward. Yeah, you're getting tipped, buddy. That's it. Okay, let's get the straps. Wait a minute, dude. Will you stay on the truck? It's a sycamore lawn mowing dude. Yeah, he mows all of the grass in the parks. Yep, he does. I want to keep tension on this because I don't want it loosening up and coming undone. I have to go back and forth and back and forth. You know what I mean, right? Can I go tighter? Is that a B flat? Yeah, I've done this before. Tie that down. 
That's just sitting there. Let's start over here. I do the trucker's hitch. Yeah, why not? This way I know it's gonna be crazy tight. So, uh, this can be heavy, I think. Should I go for 7,500 again? I think it's 1,000 pounds. So 7,500 pounds total will make it 1,000 pounds. Oh, it's way over that. Bro, <laughs> 7,820. Another 1,300 pounder. is awesome. Do I have any room over here? I think I do. I can sneak around this diesel Chevy, I think. Oh, that's a nice rig, bruh. No, really? He's just gonna walk right behind me. Anybody else? I should have a backup. Ooh, I know he has a trailer there, dude. I ought not run into his trailer. All right. I need to leave myself plenty of room with all this stuff. enough room yeah what a good day all right I'm gonna untie all this and then we can start the offload all right first things first oh no don't fall into my truck oh. it hit my tailgate I don't like that You know what? I kind of do want to scoot that over right now. Yep, let's do that. Because if I don't, everything's going to start landing on top of it and it's going to cause problems. Comes the big truck. Am I in the way? Hope not. Uh, 
I swear it sounds like a telephone ringing. Like a telephone my grandparents had. What's ringing up here? Oh, it's the timer. Wherever the timer is. Scare me like that. truck. Oh, you need to go far away. You go. Hey. It's a little wasp's nest. Hmm. Can you go off that way? You're probably not. You're going to hit the truck, aren't you? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Did I do that? All right, refrigerators. Yeah, let's pull out this one first. Uh-oh, oh, if I can. I might have to tip it on to a side because of the wheel well. Yep. Maybe. Maybe not. I think I'm gonna try to tip it this way. I guess it doesn't matter. All I have is one more thing coming out. One more appliance. Uh, we catching on, dude. All right, ready for the old heaveroo. Go back. Got a bunch of stuff in here, don't I?
big old hunk of metal. I'll bet I can spear something with it. Or not. All right, where are you gonna go? That way? Okay. It's a pretty empty truck. I just noticed this. My arrow is missing its wings. How do I get down? I don't want to jump. were you? No way. It dented the truck. Ooh. Yeah, we're getting kind of full. Oh, they're turning. No, they're not turning. You said their blinker on. Driving like maniacs. Acting like a maniac. Whiplash. That truck was full. Almost 80,000 pounds. Like 78 something. Alright, I see zeros on the, the display. The dot matrix or whatever they call it. And I am 6540. Six five four zero. All right, I'm just gonna park right over here. What's up, Katie? I think I made 1,300 pounds or close to it. All right. Close enough. Thank you. I will see you later. All right, bye. Oh, yeah, I gotta go this way. Thanks again, God. You are amazing. <laughs> Thank you for fun. Thank you for life. Thank you for love. Thank you for allowing us to experience. Even though sometimes I get scared with life. But it says many, many times in your word, God, for you to fear not. So I'm not going to be scared. I'm not going to fear. Lord, give us that spirit to not be afraid of anything. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right. Eight.
$89.60, is that what I see? It is. So, that 1,280 pounds, um, we weighed in at 78.20, weighed out at 65.40. $89.60. I got a lot of 20s today. Whew. That's awesome. Seriously, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for being, thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Because today was some work. And uh, and I say this all the time that it it when you're with me, when I am out scrapping with the camera on, it it isn't as hard as when I'm scrapping along. So thank you for hanging out with me. You are awesome. Got it got better. One man's trash is another man's treasure. From then to now, thank God it got better.